Don't you know? Is Victoria synthetic and innovative mod back? For Thin if you've ever played through MySoft and Monster. Latte of Humanity or Doxo. Simuac later, you all lost Park. This guy made it himself. This guy has already done 8. It's called Doncap. With mostly adventurous gameplay, survive and explore the world. This guy did it himself. Create a lot of bosses and more special buildings. Make the play more attractive. You should go to this guy's channel. Watch the trailer before you play this game. And the download is in that video. And I did 30 days in 8. Go to grab. How do you feel after playing this mode? Then... To be honest, this Mo Park is not scary. I died somewhere about for years, six times. Because the PPP fighting mechanism here is no different than Iding. All of you have played that game. I should have known. It's spicy, it's no joke. This is because the game is too difficult. Even though I have adjusted super hard into the game, then it's as normal. Death can be raised erected. And when you die, then there's a milestone that counts the number of times you die. And when you die 1,000 times, you'll get a delicious cookie. Crispy to chew for relief. And my goal is it's all in here. That son of a bitch knows this Talia Forden. I want to destroy all the bots. It's in this 8. And the goal was clear. And now let's get started. My first day in a forest. And next to me there's a tree man called Korit. This tree man, give yourself goals, and the adventures ahead will be very difficult. I will fight a lot of bosses, and especially the ender dragon, and I need to get 12 eyes to get down. Just like the last series one played. And it says, in the beginning we should find a village, to learn the craft and how to fight from the villagers. After it's done, it's gone. It left me a spirit sphere. This is for exchanging blood and power, with the rocks in the village. Look around and see nothing. It's just trees with grass. So I left this forest, and find another land. Every way that it works and moves in this mukbak, it's very real. And I also have a fitness bar. This fitness stick is going to bounce back very quickly, but when running or swimming fast, it will also quickly lose its strength. And this is our mission. We're going to have 10,000 deaths to get a cookie. I will try to die as little as possible, or not die. And we... There are about 40 bosses that need to be destroyed. Go for a while. I found a gate of hell. Not completed. It's very lucky to start this gate next door. And I found a crossbow in the trunk. A yellow hat with yellow boots and a yellow apple. When I went to the beach, I saw one. It's very salamander-like, but a hyper-realistic version. I don't know if it's a salamander or not. Along the path, I saw a temple. With his 20-pot June cake experience, then I shouldn't just throw my head down. Because I don't know what's underneath, if there is a monster. He stood there waiting for his mother's body. While making wood, I heard the sound of something. He looked up and down and saw it right in front of him. It's a sleeping jaguard. I just want to quietly leave before it's too late. When I had wood, I made axes and picks. I head straight in. There is no monster. I didn't hear the sound of a monster. I thought it was safe to go down. Just opened up some stuff. He was slapped by the bat demon for a few shots. Fortunately, this bat demon is weak. Feed him a few axes and he's on his way. When I was in this temple, I heard the voice of a villager. So I'm eager to run towards the light. If you fall into a trap, you will be forced to die. 
There's a lava hole and a lot of rocks. Make the stomach move. I think he wants me to turn the corner. Smart people always have their own way. That's digging in a different direction. I don't know how to do it. I dug at the foot of the treasure. God intended the number to go in. Here I found a lot of six stones. There's gold and apples and armor in the trunk. That was my first day, guys. It's only the first day. How much did he give me? I don't know about the next few days. As I dig up these six jewel blocks, I found some more diamonds inside. What the hell is this? The game is easy. In this temple, it hides a lot of chests. There are many miscellaneous things, but the price of real weapons is nowhere to be found. It's got a list of skill points. I look at what I don't understand. I also skim to find out. But I don't know. I don't have a bed to sleep in. So I've been up all night waiting for the morning. Dare to go out. Dinner is in here. It's really terrifying, guys. I don't know why I died. So avoid going out at night. While waiting for the morning, I found a button to take a picture with multiple frames and virtual live filters, all kinds of ostriches. Every system has black and white. It's true that the forgot technology era is no different. I've been waiting forever and the rain hasn't stopped. So I risked going out. I have to observe. To observe and observe. I had to stop fighting in the early days. There are monsters in here. It's real, it's fake. You can't believe it. I had it a few times and had to learn from it. 36 is the top of the book. I'm going to the shore here. I've got some sheep to make a bed for. And also the cows to make the leather. It's finally stopped raining. But it's midday. It rained all morning. The weather must be a sign. And I saw a village. But this village I'm not very excited about. This is the poorest village I know. And the other thing is, when I get the stuff in the trunk, or broke down in front of the villagers, then your elegant score will be subtracted. The more I'm subtracted from the elegant point, the more the villagers will avoid me. It sees itself as a social dumpster. What's worse is that he called the guards, or the golem came to solve it. The villagers here are very smart, guys. Don't get over them and when. I get an elegant addition. I have to complete the mission, or contribute Jade 6. Tell them, that sounds pretty exploitative, but in fact, that's what it's about. This loss wants me to suffer. He wants to be a kind person. Living without plunder, no more practice. I will definitely quit my job at the end of this trip. Around each village. It's often these architectures. These architectures will tell me to decipher. Or it calls me. Turn around to get to that point. And when I deciphered it, it will give you a gift. It's very special. It hurts my head, guys. So I ignored it. Three days ago, I left this poor fucking village. And saw the bandit's castle. He walked a few steps and was robbed by the beast. He ran back into the village. It's almost. It's carrying me. Fortunately, he's fighting a mushroom and he doesn't pay attention to himself. I went back to the castle to practice. But up here I met the giant. If you can avoid this, you will seek here. What can stand? And after many attempts to re-enter the castle. But there's still no good results. They are still holding their faces. And while it's raining, it's raining. We can understand what kind. That's what the evil game did to me. Every time it rains, there's fog. So I can't see the way to go. Fortunately, there's a tower nearby. So I ran into it and took refuge. There's a lot of food and gunpowder in here. And there's also some jewels. There's a hoodland downstairs. Fortunately, I didn't go inside. If not, there will be no more. Stand from up here. I can see a lot of work. It's like something. In the middle of the sea, a boat and a house with lights. On the fourth day, I went up to the house with the lights on at night. The house is beautiful, but no one lives. There's some wood and some food in the mirror. I still haven't given up on the bandit's castle. As long as I steal all their stuff. I was just robbed and robbed. What would they call it? After so much effort, I also killed a lot of robbers and I came here to steal but get it back. It's more loot than sugar can. You know what? Don't come up here, it's a waste of time. Seconds. After four days, we're not dead yet, let's celebrate. I'm playing hard mode again. Not normal fuck it appears raw constantly. For those of you who don't know, hard mode, it's like super hard, dame. 
It cause is the same, but it's super hard. It only has one life. It is hard to recover. I baked meat on Thursday. I've got to get ready for the next trip. I use iron. Gold diamond was stolen to upgrade to three lots. He was about to leave the house when he was robbed. He stopped his head and demanded it back. This son of a bitch has been chasing me since yesterday. It's too spicy to be robbed. BBQ has two modes. One is normal, two is BBB type variety. It's the kind of dance that looks better. It's easy to die with that. So I'll limit my use of that. I went back to the boat to continue my practice. And get the achievement. I am a pirate. On this boat I just take these two chests. Because of the chests, it's all drugs down with TNT armor. The weapon in this is also in the form of an epic myth. A lot of people ask about that mode. I'll put the name mode here for those of you who need it. Day 6 I saw a house on the beach. If you look around, this is a fishing house. I found 6 boxes. I've got some fish bones. And there's a bucket and a bucket lining. Go to the back of the house. Then, I found delicious food in my bag. It's like black squid pasta. Fish stew these dishes. I see when I eat. It'll help me add more nourishing effects. And after walking around the house, I can only find food. Food with food is all shrimp and crab fish. I know this is a fishing house, so I didn't ask for much either. As I was crossing the field, I passed a group of lions. Fortunately, we're sleeping, so I'm not worried. As we passed the lions, we heard footsteps. Quite familiar. It's this night, it's the biggest problem. In every one of my trips, it's always in hot spots. So that it puts me on the scoreboard. No matter how much you run, you can't escape it. It's a very special skill. Want to get rid of it? We have to rely on deep rivers, because this one doesn't know how to swim. It's like you worrying. And I cut off its tail. But here I come across a bunch of demons hunting. That's how trouble keeps coming. Who can stand it? It's best to avoid them now. Right now, there is a village with a tower. The castle of bandits. How many buildings is it gathered here? Fucking hell. When I entered the village, I saw a scene. It's pretty brutal. When the lions go hunting the villagers, even if you feel guilty, I opened a box in front of the villagers. And you can see that you've been subtracted a point. In their eyes, I have to be careful. When you open the mirrors, take the stuff from the villains. If he can see it, he will die. After half a day of working in my village, I only get a few scraps, as leather, the wood and the seeds. Look at your kid's hand. It's bigger than my face. One punch is probably dead. There's a hyena next door. When I first saw it, I thought it was cute. The next time he stood up, he chased him to work. But hyenas do not turn naturally. There are no gentle ones. I forgot. Day 8 is the day I find a place to be. I chose the largest house in the village. And the location here is beautiful. I can see around the village and surrounding buildings. And by then I packed everything. Do all of today's work. And it's beautiful today too. So I stood all day on the roof. Just to watch the sunset. Early morning of the ninth day, we dragged each other to the shore to exercise. Hey, everybody's got one everywhere. What kind of creature is that cute? I don't know. This turtle, it's a little bit real -line. It's better than you. There's a mutant turtle. It's big. For myself, it's hard scrotal fabric. I can simply dance. Leave the hard ones behind. If I jump to the last point on Kier, I will receive a gift. It's perfect. If I miss dancing all the time, I get bored. If you jump down, you lose blood and eat food. So stop being human. We found a coastal village. The first thing we do, it's this we store bookmark. And it's raining again. This village has so much power. Blackwood must come to a pile. Maybe this village is hiding something. Or not. On the 10th we set out to discover his house. The sky was the first thing I saw. I also stole the gate. Later I will get out of the sword. Then I saw the nest of giants. But we're stuck. Even though he saw himself, he couldn't get out. I can only laugh softly at their faces. I can't eat too much at lunchtime. On the way, I also met a group of elephants, drinking water by the river. Climb up the mountain and meet a village. Wavestone, please. No one in the village knows how to use it. After a while, I met a village. The village next to the village around them all has a village. It's not cool, it's all village. This is the village I've been looking for because it's the richest village. Everything that I need, it's all in this village. Now I just need to practice my apprenticeship, learn how to fight, and we're done with the mission for the villagers. On the 11th, I found the Shiva in the village. We are after recovery. Look at your faint face. My mouth keeps sticking out my tongue all the time. I have scissors to cut off the tongue to help hate. This fashion is very practical. When I steal someone's stuff, I have to do it behind my back. When I do it in front of him, I get a friendly demerit. 
It's a profession now that it suffers. Now, I want to take a mission from the villagers. Then I need to find the villagers' tent. We're blue, and I've got to put some jewels in there. Just received it. There's also a beekeeper in this village. What village is so delicate, I don't know too well. People at home just eat and sleep. I'm going out, I'm getting food for the boys. You can use your tongue less for me. You keep sticking out your tongue all the time. Why can I stand it? This is my temporary base. It looks more like a nest than a base. That's a good start. The goblin that holds the bow. It's the most hated demon I've ever seen. He's upset with this guy. If I could reach it, it would speed up. He ran away, he ran away, and he hooked his bow, and he shot again. That's what it takes. This is the home of the demons. There's also a BA nail. It's a little strange. We went to the second village nearby, and met a president. Green Master will take the task from him to do. I donated a bag of 8 jade. Six told to come to the meeting to increase friendliness with the villagers. Let's give these villagers. He assigned the task to himself. The first task I received from the president. I have to kill 10 bandits. I set out to find the bandits barracks. And until the rain comes. I have found. I use skillful sword dancing skills. Learn it at a young age. Dance to the death of the enemy. When I returned to the mission, I found a piece. The earth drags up in the middle of a vast field. I was curious, so I tried the fish and discovered that there's a green giant inside with its absolute power of destruction. I used it, shoot it to death. But when it's low on blood, it had a red eye that came out and attacked it. If I get close, even if I shoot with it, it doesn't work. When I get close to it, I get hurt. So I went into the cave and solo one one with giant blue and put it on the scoreboard with the sword. When he died, he fell out, gave himself a red eye. This eye is used to activate the Dean Gate. I wanted to kill the dragon. Enter in this post back. I have to destroy all the bosses. In the task that the president had assigned, it was 14 days ago. I'm on my way back to the mission. And I saw a wandering warrior. If you want to recruit this guy, give me five pieces of cooked chicken. And for sweet platter. Anyway, I met a village with a windmill. Near the coast. Now, I was able to communicate with these villagers to learn the craft and get the assignment. When I donated a few jewels to build the social development of the villagers, the mission of the first villager is to ask me to find a giant radiant and give it a sharp arrow. Then I spent 18 in Gok 6 to learn fishing. And now I'm able to use the rod too. And the profession here is also hierarchical. So I'm going to spend a lot of money to upgrade to learn. The second task is he told me to build an hourglass. Let's show this guy. Time. It's very simple to build an hourglass. It needs five glasses and to gold. He asked for more rest in. Why not? Tell me from the beginning, I turned around and saw you dizzy. When the task is completed, then this villager prick. Give yourself an exchange plate to exchange items with the villagers. But I still don't know how to use it. On the 15th, I paid the president and get a skill book. That's the driving skill. This will help you to avoid them during combat. Now skills are no different than Dokshaus. It's too good. Then we go and draw three jars of honey to do a mission for the villagers. In the fishing village of Kier, you have to hurry this up. I stole it. It's easy to pin it for a few shots. Complete. Here, give me an exchange. And that means I don't know how to use it. I call this village a fishing village. It's because it's close to the sea. It should be called that. It doesn't overlap. I've been walking around this village. Let's see if there's any recent work. And I found out there's a castle of knights. But I'm close. Then these guys are going nowhere. There was only one guy who welcomed me. There's nothing in here to take. What castle? It's poorer than the villages of Huang Van. Moving in this sense of urgency. It's very difficult. So I had to make tools. To make a magic book. I advise you to always write this book. Really? On the 17th, I received my next assignment from the president. It's about destroying King Raplin. That goblin fortress is easy to find. So I carry my backpack. Go up immediately and search. And it's not that far away. When you see it up close in the fishing village, they're all real and a few of them are gone. But it took me until evening. We can destroy all of these. Unfortunately, the Droplin King. Where did it go? And I can't see his blood anymore. So we're going all day in this fortress. But not Sao. The only comfort for me. It's their treasure heap. It's a nightmare at night in this world. There's a lot of monsters I've never seen before. They look so cool. The person who made this Ramos is a little bit off. Now I just hide in the house. Wait until morning and go anywhere. In the morning I went outside. And I see there's an architecture next to it. It's like a place of ritual offering. There's a frost up here. It doesn't feel good. I went to the house of a princess. She told me to find a piece of the ocean's prisms. Then she pay with a spirit. I thought this price was good, so I got it. The 19th was a stormy day, and I dug up a rock to take home, building the gates of hell. When moving home, 
I build a magic desk and a purple curtain converter, and I immediately learn in how to upgrade. This upgrade will help other moves. When combined, it's more efficient. I went through the fishing village to get milk. Then the knight appeared again. I want one with it too. But I didn't lose much blood. It makes me want to breathe, but I am quick. If it's not smelly. Day 20 I propagated carrots with bone meal to make a yellow carrot and feed it to your mouth. And we passed by the castle of the bandits to continue to practice because I lack a lot of materials from monsters to build. Learn magic skills. I don't know in here. Do you have the materials you need or not? But I see the castle right in front of me. Feel very itchy hands. Not practicing is a sin against yourself. I almost died a few times when I was working. I almost died a few times, not dead. Play in hard mode it. There's something crazy about this loss. If you die too much, it's not Yang who recorded it. I worked until it was dark and I went home. And do a nap right up until the next morning. Day 21, I'm still creating and transforming magic skills. And after a day the sky turns back and forth, I've learned that it's a slime-like skill. It's that falling from the sky never loses blood. Unless we run out of effects, on the 22nd we set out to find King Raplin's fort. For the former I let his king's son escape. I don't know why he escaped. Following the trail I saw an abandoned house. And a baboon. It's meow meow meow. Actually, I was wrong. It's not an abandoned house, it's the home of two warriors. One needs two slices of watermelon and two carrots. There's five cookies and a slice of watermelon. Why do these guys eat fruit? Live healthy. In front of my eyes, it's a bunch of Kurus dancing to the tango. And a giant super big house of the villagers. But these buildings look so familiar that there. There's nothing new to discover. When you have the skill to jump like slime, we move very easily. One jump is almost home. It was the morning of the 23rd. I went back to the food on me. To recruit warriors. I gave them everything they needed. But I missed it, I pressed the self-destruct button. So I expelled a warrior myself. I have a lot of clutter. So this is the consequence. I can adjust for these warriors. By clicking on people, I can turn off the attack mode. Evil creatures and good creatures. You can follow me. To guard in the eye for cyclone. And finally, it's standing still and it's raining beans. That's the game, people. I play and I am very angry. I don't understand why it rains continuously. It has been playing for 23 days and it has rained for 10 days. I took this fellow villager home by Weston. And get the best clothes for him to wear. And I can also give him food to handle himself. That's the end of the day. On the 24th, we went to the dungeon to farm and get the materials for Kia's buildings. I looked for it and didn't see it. I played a lot of mode and I know a lot of things. If we want to find something, we should go to the dungeon. There's all the ingredients down there. There are ingredients in hell. So whatever you want, go to the dungeon because hell has everything you earn. When fighting, I always have to let the spears not be broken by them. I don't know why in this back. The armor is extremely damaged, even though I've put it all together. But the price is still very fast. What the hell is that? I've got a magic book, and when it's used, it shoots out a firecracker hole and it soars into the sky. It looks beautiful in many different shapes and colors. When going down here, I met a dwarf exchange named Drunk. It's a kitchen, but I have nothing to exchange it for. This is what I found in the dungeon. There's a lot of frost. The dwarf with the hoe. This is the most dangerous demon I've ever seen. Even if I wear full armor, it dances for a while. I don't really have any armor on me. These kids. I should absolutely use remote weapons, like a bow or a crossbow. Just shoot it and get close to it. To the last of the dungeons. I saw a glowing Rollin. 
From what I know, every building has a small boss. They'll be near the chests with the good stuff. I want that chest. We have to destroy the bot. It takes me almost 10 minutes a day, guys. One of my morning, just to destroy this stick. Fortunately, my explosion has a piercing ring. When I shot it, I picked up the arrow I shot again, and so on until it dies. I dare not go near it, because they're painted like this. Then absolutely avoid it. Don't get close to a hit. And when it dies, it dropped a horse armor, diamonds, and some iron. I feel extremely confused right now. I spent the whole day dealing with it. I have no words to describe. With the thing it dropped. Helpless on the 28th. Back home with a lot of stuff on. And there's no rearranging. It's been out of mine for two days. And in these two days, I also used 20 to Jade 6 too. I learned in my craft from the villager. As a weapon, I can use a gun stealing light. And you separate the magic. On the 31st, I learned the skill to summon horses and jump up and down. When put together, I was able to move easily. It will help me a lot in combat. Or dodging attacks from monsters. On the 32nd day, I set the gates of hell and went down. And this is the biggest mistake of my life. When I walked down here, below I encountered a giant squid. It shoots out the past fireball causing explosion and little flares that ignite. It's like a grab. But it's the super horror version. His vision discovered that he was very far away. I have nothing to resist the fire. When I met this one. In this architecture, there's a lot of ghosts. I also get a lot of gold. But gold is broken. Even though it's painted that same color. Fortunately, it makes it up to me. A diamond hat. Rare form. It seems to be rare or not rare. Day 33 I returned to Overworld, to find King Droplin's fortress, and I was walking by a village, they captured a boat of bandits. Day 40 for morning, I met a lizard that was out in the sun, and also saw a warrior who specialized in photosurgery, then back to the base. This guy is an archer, listen, these guys I see, there are many types of warriors like, Archer Knight, you know there's a kick. Day 45 I went to the snowy mountains, I also saw a village nearby, and then I see a huge fortress. Come closer and you'll know this is a Belieder's Ford. This place is extremely dangerous. I just saved the coordinates. After that, I will come back. But now come in. There is no way to beat them back. Until dark, I met the robber. I don't want to do it either. Because I see two girls. But these guys are lying. Go ahead and ask for a solo. So I have to keep going if you want. Day 46 I found King Rockland's fortress. And next to that is a horse farm. There's bone horses and zombie horses in here. There's a lot of beds and stuff down here. And I almost died down here. Because down here is the land of zombies. I ran over to find the rapper king so I could handle it. But this time run through. It's gone again. I threw this fortress. Up without seeing it anywhere. There's only one goblin and I'm tired of it. Search until the next morning, then I saw it go all the way over there. God, he's going to emigrate or something. The sword wants to blow its throat. And after 47 days, we haven't died a single life. I've only killed two bosses. Leave the game and return the mission to the president. And he gave me a map. To kill one more. I think I remember this one I killed. It's the green giant. But there's a red eye. I killed him and now I have to do it. What to do when you've been to a lot of places? I didn't find a new building. I decided to go back to hell. As I said, it was my worst decision. There are a lot of creatures out there who want to be. I want to touch my face. All the black bone monsters come to the blood sucking mosquitoes. And there's goblins with bombs that it throws. I don't know how to help either. Just run and run. Once you've dealt with all the gear. I found the fortress of pigs. I walk around outside. Look around and slowly enter. Go inside. I was surrounded by pigs. And there's a pig that's brightened. That's the pig in command. I use the long stroke to draw his blood slowly. 
And it was so easy. But not this guy, it makes it harder. When the pig has only a little blood left, I'll bet you there's only a little blood left. You can also see his blood. I went down and finished it. But it's strange. The one who lies down is me, not him. It was a hit, guys. One hit armor hats diamonds are painted out. And it can stand up to its hips. So what armor fits these guys? I have to go home now. Go to hell to get your stuff back. I don't know where to sleep now. He always fucking goes out. The real moment's back. We're almost at the store. I was attacked by a group of lions. It's a scraper. It's evaporating. There's no danger here. Now you know this cat. I have a five course cat. Now the only way to get your stuff back in hell. It's that I have to make a magic book. And use your dancing skills to get it back. If you walk down, you will die. I'm tired of coming down here. Almost died a few times. Then I can get my stuff back. But I died again in a very disturbing way. I forgot to turn off the PP mode. Sucking down lava always it nasty. One more time, I made a magic book, but put a bunch of other food shelves down. But this time it went to fast and the VA died again. Fuck the fucking moving view. This time play big without armor. Fortunately, no one was chasing him, and I can get my stuff too. But I noticed. That's the big one. They know how to use flame retardants. When it fell down into lava, what the hell they've evolved. And then I move again. In a very stupid way. It's a regular Bitcoin. It was a hit, bidding. And the last time I used a dirty trick. Hide and hit. They are fighting and hiding. They are Canadian ghosts. Is it all foam hit? A I play again. Kill the leader. Then I get a piece. And a pair of rare yellow boots raw. Take the gold in the middle. And found a cursed eye and a netty embryo. Then some painted bosses appeared near my place. I quickly walked over to him and lured him into a corner. Slash it slowly until the tip of the sword. It's not dead yet. And when it died, it fell off the golden armor. Normal gold armor. I'm not in the mood to play right now. The purple boss girl. And it fell out of the armor. You can delete this boss. Day 55 I'm still in hell. And I met a boss painted orange. Mythology is still the way of the century. I put it in the corner, and then put the vortex around it so that it's bem. This time it's a little better. It dropped a mythical golden armor. But wine is so gold armor. Iron is fine. The stuff in here is all slippery. Then I killed a purple pig, and snuck up a pair of diamond boots. Epic! Our belief in victory has now emerged. While looking for the colored boss, I met a village of Berliners. The box with the trunk in the house, it's got a bunch of stuff. Where have they gone? Leave the house and let yourself practice. These bosses want to grab the sword and die. One child. People are very persistent about this. This lost eight. I just got out one day and played. So there's still a lot of work to be done. After practicing in the pig's fortress, I turned around and found a boss. I was curious, so I went looking for it. As we enter its territory, then the music starts to rise, and its name is Nadraman Cho's City. Its main skill is spitting out fireballs. When it hits the ground, it will. It's creating lava or explosive spheres. This is the boss I find easiest to get to. If we get close to it, it just hits and we dodge it. After killing the boss, I get the achievement, the war machine of hell, and it fell out a hammer. A horn to upgrade into the nose never right. There's a lot of gold in here. Especially if there's ancient debris around this never right monster spot. It's got a lot of ancient debris, so I have to find it all. The mission is 1 in 100. It means it wants me to destroy 100 of them. To complete the task, 10 is enough. 100 this time. I'm tired of taking a break, but when I get back, I was attacked by a giant bone. It sprayed Saura a purple stream. I couldn't team move while running away from it. I fell into lava and died again.
I used the same old way to get my stuff back. But just walk to the gate. I met that bone devil. It's right there at the gate. That giant bone was made by a goblin. It will recover if it kills. Goblins will have no trouble. When I get my stuff back, I'm going to find that goblin. His grandmother Ra. I like to find things. I like to find things. Do not fight back to synchronize to practice now. Do you want to die? I still haven't given up on hunting for VIP items. But the squid. Where it is, it's shooting fire at us. I can't see where it is and it's shooting right. I feel so tired. I know how many swords. It's all three crap. Impotent beyond 62 days. I built a travel. Let me fly free in the sky. So I started exploring the world around me. And I found something new. It's an island in the sky. And a ghost ship flying. I use all the furniture to jump all over that island. But there's nothing but trees and grass. It's just the bubble that flies. It's out. It welcomes me. But it's a strange reception. The plane is pretty good. Decorate for beauty. What the fuck? Next is a huge village in the middle of the sea. In every house in this village, there's a lot of food. I noticed there was no AI in the village. It's a little strange. Go out to the boats and see them here. Immigrants go fishing. Day 64 I used the wave store to go home. And walked past the fort next door to discover. I need to get three keys. In the chests to activate the boss summon. It's not like opening a chest to get it normally. I have to break all the resurrection cages of the monsters. Every floor it opens for me. I think my clothes are a bit VIP, but the hell is in here. He hit me in the face and I still feel pain. I agree. What the hell is that strong? I don't know, it's all broken. And the hell it stinks. I suddenly thought that. I don't need to fight them. Successful people always have their own way. It's using so lava to get rid of them. Too fast and compact. Then use the magic book with a remote whistle. I'm standing in a corner. The monster doesn't touch me. This trick, it's kind of cool. This magic book. It's also a little bit O for remote cyclone breaking. I can break the hell. If you play like that, maybe it's a little dirty. And after three days of destruction, I've got all three keys. Without having to fight. Now I have to be solo. With the boss guarding the fort. This one also moves pretty fast. It can withstand arrows. The right time to attack it. Especially after it shoots out the fireballs. And the fortress fell when the watchman is destroyed. Day 69 I was drowned riding a swordfish. He chases him. He pricks him in the ass while he's sailing. That's a swordfish. Now 10 knights show up and they're out. I can play hard and let them face down. Now I feel like I'm a very good person too. Day 70 we went to the frozen ocean. There are icebergs. There, I saw a pirate ship of bones. And a house of robbers. On day 71, I came across a bunch of black shirt associations. It looks so dangerous that I can only avoid it. And there's always a bot on the boat that got punched. What the fuck is? It's hard to get the mirror. There is something like that in the mirror. It's not that the bot watches the sky. On the 72nd, I went to the mountains. And the land here I see is very dry. I feel like this area is close to the volcano. But there's no volcano. Only the red lizard can fly. As it spits a line of fire down the rock. Was that I was panicking. I know what it is. But I play stupid. I want to go back. I took a closer look to make sure it wasn't tea. And that's exactly a fire dragon. I was wrong to enter its territory. I want to leave this place as soon as possible. But when I look up. I saw it was on my head. And so. Please say goodbye. This is the first version of this Dawn Assemble modback. I downloaded it when this modback was just a day old. So it's missing a lot of stuff. Let me experience better. I have just seen the updated versions. When it starts, it gives itself a map, a map book and a compass. It would be better to know what to do. 
General, this is a 100 day dining experience and I'm going to do it. This boss don't rap anytime soon. And we'll discover all the bosses. That this guy and his crew. I've been doing this for a year. And thank you very much for watching the video. Remember to visit the shop Yoko Lock Dot. Please support me with some CC. And now, hi and see you in the next video. Bye bye.